So what exactly is fuel and what makes a fuel ideal? Imagine this, you are trying to cook dinner but there is no firewood, no gas and not even electricity. That means no warm food, no hot tea, not fun right? I mean, is that even possible to cook food without fuel? That's where fuel come in. I mean, we need heat energy for everyday life and when we talk about heat energy, uh, for homes and or factories, we mostly, mostly mean fuels. So fuels are things like wood, charcoal, petrol and kerosene. Basically, fuel is a substance that produces heat energy when it burns. Now, what do you think makes a fuel good? Well, of course, the fuel has to be cheap. We cannot use expensive fuel for cooking food or running our cars, right? It doesn't make sense. Then it should be easily available. No point if you can't find a fuel when we need it. It must burn easily at moderate temperature, which means not too hot, not too cold, just the right temperature. And most importantly, it should produce a lot of heat. That's the whole point of being a fuel, right? And leave minimum harmful substance or at least it shouldn't leave behind many of the harmful substances that are going to be harmful for nature, environment and for us humans. But here is the thing and it's a big one. Is there something called an ideal fuel? No, there is no perfect fuel that is available on the planet Earth. By that mean, uh, there is no fuel that is easily available, that burns easily at moderate temperature, cheap, produces a lot of heat and leaves, leaves minimal harmful substances. There is probably no fuel that check all the boxes perfectly. I'm not saying any one or two or three of these. All the boxes perfectly makes an ideal fuel and there is probably no fuel that checks all the boxes perfectly. That's why, that's why we say there is no such thing as a perfect or an ideal fuel. Then you may ask, uh, how do we go about the fuel? Well, we just try to choose fuel that fulfills most of our needs and th that's the best thing that we can do for now. The cost of the fuel is an important factor to be discussed. Uh, some fuel are expensive whereas some are cheap. For example, if you take wood and LPG, firewood is definitely at a lower price. It is cheaper than the liquefied petroleum gas or the LPG gas, no doubt about it. Now, LPG stands for liquefied petroleum gas. That's the cooking gas that we use at home, right? But even though the gas is more expensive, it is also more efficient. That means it gives us more heat for the same amount compared to the firewood. So what are we doing? Well, we are turning our household towards promoting the use of liquefied petroleum gas because it simply works better and government has so many schemes uh, to reduce the cost of the or reduce the burden of the cost to the uh, common people. On the other hand, wood is not so efficient. It doesn't give as much heat as LPG or cooking gas does, right? Yes. Uh, based on the state of the fuel at which it is generally used, the fuels are classified into different types. Uh, so they're classified into uh, solid fuel, liquid fuel and gaseous fuel. Sounds simple, right? It is, yes, it is a simple classification. And if you see some of the examples of the solid fuel, it's the familiar one. Yes, you might have already guessed as we have been discussing the same fuel for so quite some time. Yes, the firewood is a very good example of solid fuel. Coal is another example of solid type of fuel. Whereas, whereas the petrol that we use in our cars and motorbike is a liquid fuel. Diesel again, which is used in buses and trucks is also a liquid uh, fuel, right? Diesel and petrol, like water is a liquid, are more, more efficient than the wood and coal, if you see, okay? Uh, about which we'll study in detail in our next video. Now, whereas the LPG gas that we use for cooking at home is a gaseous fuel and the compressed natural gas that you might have seen in some of the cars is also a gaseous fuel. Now, you should be asking this big question, isn't LPG liquefied petroleum gas? Isn't, shouldn't it be a liquid? Why is it in gaseous fuel or why is it classified as gaseous? It's a very good question and uh, yes, it is liquid inside uh, the cylinder. 
LPG is in liquid state inside the cylinder but remember when it comes out it comes out as a gas and remember we have classifying this type of fuel in this at which it is generally used all right and uh, that's why this class LPG is classified as a gaseous fuel and why is it liquid inside the cylinder it is liquid inside the cylinder because it is compressed at a very high pressure but when it is coming out of the cylinder to the atmosphere it gets converted into gas you'll study about this science in later stages all right all right and uh, so yeah the liquidified petroleum gas or our cooking gas is a gaseous fuel